When it comes to your in-town or nearby chores that you have to go to, there's nothing more convenient than the likes of a bicycle or a motorcycle. But there's a big problem with those types of vehicles. They're too small, only seats one or two people, and most importantly, they don't come with a roof nor an air conditioner. But good thing is that small electric vehicles have come to save the day. And another good news is there is a new upcoming one that is coming out super, super soon. And this is that car right here. This is the DFSK Candy Mini EV, a small electric vehicle that promises to do just that. In this video, let's see how good of a Mini EV this is and what it has to offer. Let's now talk about the DFSK Candy Mini EV and kind of give it a slight comparison with yet another Mini EV that we already have here in the Philippines that's also named after a particular dessert. So from the outside, they're about the same size. So this car is absolutely tiny. However, it is slightly longer than that other one. Also, more importantly, the minimum ground clearance is slightly higher at 135 millimeters. So when it comes to making Sayad, you're a little bit safer with this DFSK Candy. Now, from the exterior, there's really not much to talk about right here, but I do like the contrast between the white paint job and all the black trims that you have. LED headlamps with DRLs are present, and this small cover by the front, this is actually where your charging port is. So to open that, you simply press it, and inside you reveal a GBT plug, which you can simply charge at home, and it can go from 10% to 90% in only four to four and a half hours. Now, you can also get the DFSK Candyman EV in multiple trims. This particular one that we have right here comes with 41 horsepower, 100 Newton meters of torque, which is really good, and it can go from zero to 50 kilometers per hour in only 5.2 seconds. It also has a 16.8 kilowatt hour batteries and can theoretically go up to 220 kilometers on a single charge, making those in-town and nearby trips and chores very doable. Now, over at the side too, instead of getting steelies, what you get here are actual rims, and these measure 13 inches big versus 12 inches on that other car that we mentioned. Other things you get here, well, there's not really much, but there are these like roof rails on top. They don't really serve a purpose. They're just there for aesthetics, but yeah, they really complement the look of this cute vehicle. And moving towards the rear of the DFSK Candy, and as with the front and the sides, there's really not much in terms of styling cues. However, I really do appreciate these wraparound looking tail lamps on either side. Now, how do you open up this tailgate? Well, it's very simple. There's just a tiny button right here and it electrically releases it. And this is a very light tailgate. So obviously it's not powered anymore or anything, right? And in here, space is extremely limited. Sure, however, for example, if you have a soft bag, such as this backpack that I have in here, you can still jam it in there. And in case you do have extra groceries or longer items, yes, it's still possible. Don't worry, you simply have to fold down these rear seats and they fold flat just like that. In theory, I think you can even fit a set of golf clubs in here if you cram it in a specific way. So. In so far as small car you're concerned, this is totally not bad at all. Now here inside the interior of the DFSK Candy Mini EV, and immediately you'll just see how vibrant it looks. So for this particular model that we have here, we have a lot of these purple, and it's also two-tone in here. Technically, it's even three-tone in here, which I really like. So purple, some of this blue-gray, and there's also white in it. There's even some gold, so four-tone it is. Now, the steering wheel, it is leather-wrapped, which is a big plus, really. And if you look to, this steering wheel has buttons to control your radio and your Bluetooth music, which we'll get to later. And on the left side, this is probably the most impressive feature that it has. It has cruise control in a mini EV. Cruise control, that's amazing. Now in front of you is a digital instrument cluster that displays tons of information. And on the center is a touch screen. Now this one does not come with Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto, but it does get Bluetooth. And honestly, that is more than enough. And another thing that it does come with is a reverse camera. It's pretty clear too. I do have to admit it's slightly dark though because it is pretty bright out today. But yes, it is pretty clear. Now, that thing I just hit is the electronic shifter. And this one even comes with a sport mode. So you toggle between sport mode and eco mode in here and you really do feel the difference. I'll show you that later on in the driving segment. Other things you get in here include this wood paneling. You have a uh, 
push to start button too. And here by the middle, there's even huge cup holder. So look at this ginormous jug of mine, about a liter or so, and it fits perfectly fine in there. This upper jug, that jug holder, that fits too. So really, really good overall. Now you might ask me, how am I supposed to roll down the windows? Well, the switches are actually here by the middle. Yes, for the AC system too, it's proper cold. So no problems whatsoever. In terms of safety, by the way, uh, this does come with ABS and all of that. And you can get this car with up to two airbags too. Now, if you feel like you're sitting a little bit too close to your neighbor, not to worry too because the DFSK Candy Mini really even comes with a center armrest. So yeah, driving position, not too bad at all. But it doesn't stop there because you got to remember that the DFSK Candy Mini is a four-seater. So now let's go towards the second row. First of all, it's not that hard because the door is nice and long. It's about the size of a coupe door. And you simply have to like just, you know, fold this one over and then you can just climb on in towards the rear. And once you are back here, despite the size of this vehicle, there's actually about enough leg room to be comfortable for your short errand runs. I'm 5'6 tall seated behind my own driving position and this is... It's honestly pretty comfortable really even for longer trips maybe and the back seat too the back side of the front seats are pretty soft so you can easily just jam in your knees over there for some extra leg room also what i like back here is you get your own cup holder you get your own grab handles and you even have a ginormous window for the rear so it really doesn't feel claustrophobic back here you even get your own map pockets too so yes overall not bad not bad at all so now let's try the dfsk candy mini ev and driving this car it's a lot of fun and i don't mean fun in an exhilarating sports car way i mean fun in a very relaxing uh, tiny easy to drive vehicle way because everything in this one is just super light the steering is incredibly light i mean sure it's not direct again it's no sports car but it's for your in-town city speeds it's really good it's, it's very relaxing and the power too in a lot of these mini electric vehicles uh you know there's a lot of power that you kind of want to have but for this one you don't really find yourself wanting for more because it is more than enough even in eco mode and especially if you put it into sport mode by simply hitting that electronic shifter downwards once again and let me just give you a demonstration here <laughs> it is proper peppy and speaking of it being peppy too once you do get to higher speeds it's surprisingly quiet in here again in most of these mini electric vehicles uh sound deadening is virtually non-existent right but for this one the fsk really took the time and effort and resources to pack this car with uh sound deadening both on the floors on the doors and even here on the headliner on the roof you really feel that it's a lot quieter than a lot of the electric cars of this class right so yes it is simply a very relaxing vehicle to drive and i also know that uh, you're gonna ask me like oh you mentioned earlier that there was cruise control in it will you realistically take this to the highway yeah well first of all yes you can this is a uh, highway legal but even inside city speeds, you can actually activate that cruise control because it works at a minimum speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Not bad, right? So if you're just at a short uh, straight road, for example, and for some reason you do want to uh, turn on your cruise control, you can. Next would be the throttle and all of that. So if you put it in a sport mode, it is really responsive. And while there is regenerative braking in this vehicle, it's not too aggressive. So it doesn't feel very unnatural in here. It doesn't feel jerky too. It's just a very smooth and relaxing driving experience overall. Now, aside from this car being very easy and relaxing to drive, it's also very easy and relaxing to park because it is simply so tiny. So there are even some you know stores and corner stores that you can go to to the convenience store for example then more often than not there's not really a space for a proper car but since this is so small since the dfsk candy mini ev is so small uh, i actually fit in some of the motorcycle parking slots i would probably take up like two or three of them but you know they're, they're, it's, it's really good <laughs> it's really tiny even if you're not that adept at driving uh, vehicles uh, this is a good starting car honestly Oops pretty good that's all i can say the dfsk candy mini ev is therefore a pretty well equipped 
tiny mini EV, a tiny errand running vehicle that is sure to get you almost anywhere with its incredibly impressive range. And because of how nice it is to drive to for its class, it really is a pretty comfortable vehicle. So for now, just stay tuned for that official brand launch as well as the official launch of this DFSK Candy Mini EV.